Washington is already starting to make some moves pre-free agency. What's been going on this week? I'm about ready to give it to you now. Hey folks, this is Greg and this channel is dedicated to the Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington Redskins. So if you're new here, you're going to want to subscribe. So getting into a bit of the news this week, we have, of course, uh, at the end of last week, we officially parted ways with Alex Smith. Of course, that was all um, very, very well expected. But this week, we decided to make sure that we signed yet another quarterback in Kyle Allen. We have offered him a contract. It's a very small contract. It's uh, Well, it's funny for me to say this is small because I would certainly love to have $800,000, but... At any rate, uh, we have signed Cal Allen to a very small deal, uh, vet minimum, if you will. So we're going to add, be adding some depth and certainly some knowledge back to the quarterback position with Cal Allen. As we all know, Cal Allen was in Carolina with Ron Rivera uh, back in 2019, and uh, you know started off pretty well. Uh, kind of had an up, up and down type of uh, career. Uh, in that first season, but you know, he came back and I thought that he played pretty well when he was in the starting lineup for us this past season before, of course, he got hurt. So I think it was a very good move by the organization to bring back Kyle Allen. Um, if anything, he's going to provide knowledge that he can help with the other quarterbacks and certainly as well, uh, Taylor Haneke who also has a good a bit of knowledge when it comes to the offense as well. So there's two quarterbacks uh, that have great knowledge with this offense, with Scott Turner's offense, uh, North slash Scott Turner's offense. That is a very good move, I think, by the Washington football team to make sure that Cal and Taylor obviously are both signed for another season. And another move that I am really excited about I might be in the minority on this, I don't know, but I'm very excited about seeing Cam Sims getting offered that uh, free agent tender. And now he is coming back to the Washington football team for another season. This is great because I really saw some very good flashes from Cam Sims this past season. I think he can be a wonderful wide receiver for us in the future. And, uh, you know, he has shown us that he can make some big plays. Yes, he can also show us that he can drop some passes. He he kind of had a little bit of the dropsies this past season, but you know, he's still a very young guy. So, you know, let, let's give him a little bit of lead way. I really, you know, I, I am just excited about um, Cam Sims coming back. I think that's going to take a little bit of pressure off of us trying to go out and find other wide receivers. I don't think that means that we're not going, going to go out and find other wide receivers. Obviously, I think we are still in the market to try to pick up some possible big name wide receiver. There's been a lot of people have said, you know, stuff about Curtis Samuel could definitely be a possibility. Um, and I have a, a video on this as well. If you want to go back through about my wide, the free agent wide receivers that I would love to be able to see come to Washington. And of course, probably the biggest news of everything uh, this past week has been um, offering Brandon Sheriff another tag. So we've tagged him yet again. This is the second time in a row that we have tagged Brandon Sheriff. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, it can mean several things. First of all, if anything, it means that he's going to be one of the highest paid um, offensive guards in the league at $18 million guaranteed this season. Now, obviously, that's not an extremely cap-friendly uh, contract, although that, you know, we do seem to have the money right now. But keep in mind, um, <laughs> this is something I have to realize in my daily life, is when you have the money in your bank account, that doesn't mean that you can just go out and freely nearly just start, you know, just spending money because you have well we have plenty of money and then before you know it you're looking at the cap and you're looking at all of your limitations and you can't sign players you can't re-sign players you can't go out and sign new players and so you you have to look at this also from the financial aspect yes you want to at least secure the fact that you have brandon sheriff's 
services for next season. But you also want to make sure that you continue the negotiations with this. And it, from what I've heard, both sides are, are very responsive to each other. Um, they're, they're open, they're, they're talking. So it's not that, you know, one side is just being, you know, playing hardball per se. I think a deal is going to get done and I hope it does. I, I think it's going to be a good deal for Brandon Sheriff and it's something that we obviously need to do because when it comes to offensive linemen, the offensive line itself, let me tell you, you have to make sure that that offensive line is gelled because here's the thing. We saw it with uh, the Super Bowl with Patrick Mahomes and just, you know, how much he had to run for his life in the Super Bowl. Now, he had um, two uh, tackles that were, I believe, injured, if, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, we just learned today that both of those tackles have been cut. So uh, they may be options to bring into Washington, possibly. I don't know. But, you know, just the simple fact that you want to make sure that your offensive line you've got your good quality players back. And let's face it, Brandon Sheriff is an all pro. Let me say that again. Brandon Sheriff is an all pro. You don't find very many all pro players in this league. And that that is a big difference between a player being recognized as all pro and being simply a pro Bowl player. Pro Bowl players usually they're voted in because of you know popularity contest. You know they're they're part of the cool kids and in, in the school. But an All Pro, I mean, he has definitely earned that title. And so knowing that Brandon Sheriff is not somebody that you just want to say, you know what, love to have him, but we don't need him. We can find somebody else just as good that we can replace. No, 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 no. Brandon Sheriff, you need to re-sign him. Um, now, on the other side, there's always possibilities that Trent Williams could come back. I've heard you know, scenarios about that. I don't see it happening, but let's face it, um, you know, if Trent Williams looks back at the Washington football team, he would be back playing with his buddies again. You know, Morgan Moses is still here. Of course, Brandon Sheriff. You know, all of the guys that he was against are gone. You know, Jay Gruden, I don't believe he was ever a Jay Gruden pro guy. Um, definitely was not a Bruce Allen pro guy. Bruce Allen is gone. And, you know, there's a new coach, there's a new regime, there's a new front office. So it's really, honestly, it is a different team. So, you know, if we were able to secure Brandon Sheriff and somehow could Laurel, Laurel, lure <laughs> Trent Williams back into Washington, how great would that offensive line be? It would be a very solid offensive line. Having said that, I don't know if we're actually going to do that or not. I think we're kind of waiting to see how Charles, um, you know, recovers from his injury that he had. I think we had high hopes for Shaquille Charles. And so I think we're waiting to kind of see how that kind of works out. I mean, the offensive line actually didn't do such a bad job this past season. So... You know, I, I don't know if we're in such a shape that we need to bring back someone like Trent Williams or not, but definitely Brandon Sheriff, we have got to bring him back now. There's always the possibility that we decide, since we've tagged him, that we're going to do a tag and trade. That is always on the table. Now, if you're tagging Brandon Sheriff and then you're turning around and trading him, then... Who knows? I mean, that might be what happens, and I would be a little bit more receptive to that idea rather than to just tag him and say, we're just going to play him on this $18 million deal because then your chances of re-signing Brandon Sheriff for the 2022 season goes downhill fast. So, you know, I mean, you're probably looking at at least a... a 
you know, I'm not a stats person per se, but you're probably looking at a 50% at least decrease of chance that you're going to re-sign Brandon Sheriff. So if they're wanting to have Brandon Sheriff for the long haul, you want to lock him up for the long haul, you need to get a deal done now. So yes, a lot of moves happening. And then finally, it's not necessarily Washington football related, but it kind of is because this deals with the quarterback and we have been tied to every single quarterback it seems like that may remotely have a chance to move on to a new team this season and of course i am talking about cam newton there were a lot of folks who had us pegged to to try to bring cam newton in because why well because we have ron rivera first of all and then secondly because that we have Marty Herney who drafted um, Cam Newton. So those two guys, you know, we really, you know, I, I, I could see, I could definitely see the point. All right, you, you've got the guy who, who, you know, drafted him here. You've got the coach who coached him uh, for a number, a number of years here. So it just makes sense, right? And yes, it does make sense. But we're seeing that Cam Newton has signed another one-year deal to come back to the New England Patriots. And honestly, I think that it is a great move for Cam Newton to go back to the Patriots. I think this year, Cam Newton is going to be a lot healthier. And so I think he's really going to have a better season. I'm going to keep a close eye on his shoulder because... Um, you know, shoulder injuries, man, I mean, that's, shoulder injuries are very tough to come back from. And you know, especially if you're a quarterback, you have a shoulder injury, sometimes you never actually recover from that fully. And so we're going to, I'm going to keep a close eye on Cam Newton and kind of, you know, see how he plays this season. But I honestly expect him to have a better season. He didn't really have an off season last year. And of course, well, nobody really had an off season last year, but Cam Newton did not have an off season last year. And I think that this year, I think that he is going to have a better season because he's going to have at least one year under his belt being in the Patriots system and learning things and knowing how things work. And so I think he's going to be better off going there as opposed to coming back to Washington. He would definitely be under the microscope if he came back to Washington. That is, that is definitely for sure. So in a way, I'm kind of relieved. Uh, I'm happy for Cam Newton. I've always loved the guy, you know, just because he's, he's done so much for kids. Um, and, you know, outside of football, he, he is a very great humanitarian. I mean, he really is. He, he's a great guy. Um, sometimes... Uh, Sometimes he can be a little bit, you know, I'm kind of like, all right, Cam, you're, you know, you probably could have handled this a little bit better. But overall, you know, Cam is a great guy. I want him to succeed in football. I'd love for him to get a ring. I don't really love the fact of the Patriots getting another Super Bowl trophy. But anyway, um, I, I wish Cam the best, but that is one quarterback that we can kind of mark off of our list as far as quarterbacks that we are going to try to go after in free agency. And right now there's there's all this talk about Russell Wilson heading to Las Vegas. I don't know how that's going to work simply because Las Vegas, they don't have the cap space. Uh, they're going to have to... Uh, probably offload a lot of players and I do see them offload Marcus Mariota which is why I feel it's almost a lot that Mariota is going to come to Washington I just feel it uh, that doesn't mean that Washington is not going to try to go into the draft and draft a quarterback but I really feel like that's that's almost a lot for us uh, I could be wrong and it, it's probably not the most popular move for this team there's a lot of fans who are like ugh no, please, no, Lord, no, don't, don't bring Marcus Mariota in. But honestly, I, I do see it. I think it, I think honestly, we are more likely to bring in Marcus Mariota than anybody else. We are obviously not going to be in the uh, sweepstakes for Deshaun Watson. I mean, that that's just, no. Uh, you could just hear, if you go back and watch the pre-free agency 
press conference with Ron Rivera this past week, you will kind of catch up on the hints of they're not going to go out and bet the farm and, you know, just risk the future for one player. They're not they're not in the process for that. Yes, they were looking at anybody and everybody, but the simple fact is they are not going to come in and just like, you know, give the world to another team just for that one player. It's not going to happen. So that's why I don't think you're going to see them in the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes. Very, maybe still Russell Wilson, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think if Russell Wilson kind of, you know, I think if there was an opportunity they could get him, but with this whole thing with Dak Prescott's big mega deal that he just signed with the Dallas Cowboys, that really changes everything with these um, offseason moves for quarterbacks. And that's why I'm really beginning to think that a lot of these big name quarterbacks that were pegged to to move on uh, are going to wind up staying with their teams because players or not players but other teams are going to look at what just happened with the Dak Prescott deal and they're going to be like no we can't we can't do that we can't afford that so I know that we've heard about all this talk about you know Russell Wilson split with Pete Carroll and that relationship she seems to be you know uh, fracturing as we speak then again, this is the media, you know, so a lot of things can be fed to the media just as smoke screens. And at the end of the day, I really, I don't know, I'm starting to feel like Seattle is probably going to hang on to Russell Wilson at least this season because I, I just don't know if other teams are going to be able to pony up as much for these other quarterbacks as what the Cowboys did with Dak Prescott. Uh, now, as far as the move for, for what happened with Prescott, uh, congratulations, Dak. You got a great, great deal there. I know Kirk Cousins is probably thinking, hmm, hmm, you know, because Kirk Cousins is the one that kind of opened the floodgates to all of this. Dak, you know, congratulations. Can't say that I'm wishing you luck because you're a Dallas Cowboy, but um, Dak is a, is a very, very solid, very good quarterback. I mean, Honestly, I think Dak could probably carry a team to a Super Bowl. I don't think it's going to be the Cowboys, though. I think it's going to be another team. But that being said, maybe that's more of me saying I don't want it to be the Cowboys. Of course, I'm a Redskins fan, football team fan. That's why I still feel like it's going to be Marcus Mariota that comes to Washington. And I think we're still going to wind up drafting a quarterback. I really feel like that is going to happen. So I'm opening up the floor to all of you. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Do you think we are still in line to try to get one of these quarterbacks who have been rumored, who's the possibility that they may move on, such as Sean Watson, such as uh, Russell Wilson, um, and Sam Darnold is always an afterthought, but you know, Sam Darnold, uh, the Jets are shopping him as well. Who knows, maybe Sam turns into a great quarterback with another team. It's always a possibility. Um, I don't think he's that bad of a quarterback, actually. I think he's just, he's had a bad situation offensively uh, with the New York Jets. But at any rate, let me know in the comments section what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, share it to your other friends who are sports fans, football fans, Redskins fans, football team fans, whatever you want to call it. And if you're enjoying this whole channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel. I am trying to bring some great content to all of you, all guys, gals, whatever, <laughs> each and every week. So with all that said, hell to the Washington football team.